Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a question on rates of change calculus. We're going to be looking at the question from the November 2016 paper 1, question 10, which says the number of molecules in a certain drug in the bloodstream t hours after it has been taken is represented by the equation m of t equals to minus t cubed plus 3t squared plus 72t, where t is greater than 0 and less than 10. Determine the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream three hours after the drug was taken. Our formula is given in m of t, which is the number of molecules. So for three hours, all we have to do here for 10.1 is substitute t equals to 3 into our given equation. So we're going to say m of 3 equals to minus 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared plus 72 times 3. And let's have a look at that. What do we get? So it'll be minus 3 cubed plus 3 times, so let's just do that, plus 3 times 3 squared plus that's 72 times 3. 72 times 3. And let's see what we get. So the answer is 216 molecules. 216 molecules. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. 10.2 says determine the rate at which the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream is changing exactly two hours after the drug was taken. So the rate means that we need to now find the derivative of the function. So therefore, it's going to be m primed 2 because they say exactly two hours after the drug was taken. So because they mentioned the word rate, so we're going to find the derivative of our given function and we're going to substitute t equals to 2. So let's have a look at that. So 10.2. Two, let's find the derivative first. So the derivative is now going to be minus 3t squared. So that'll be m primed t equals to minus 3t squared plus 6t plus 6t plus 72 plus 72, therefore m primed. We said that we have to find m prime 2 because it's exactly two hours after the drug was taken. So m prime 2 equals to minus 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 72. So once again, remember that we have to say m prime t because they're talking about the rate. So let's put that into our calculator. So that will be minus 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 72 equals 2. So the answer is 72. So it's 72 molecules per hour. If we look at the question once more, it says determine the rate at which the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream is changing at exactly two hours after the drug is taken. So it will be molecules per hour. 10.3. In 10.3 it says how many hours after taking the drug will the rate at which the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream be changing be a maximum. How many hours after taking the drug will the rate, so the rate is m primed t, at which the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream is changing be a maximum. So what you have to do here now, so where will the rate be a maximum? So therefore you have to now find the second derivative and equate it to zero. So for this question it has to be m second derivative equals to zero. So m double prime t equals to zero. Reason? It says the rate at which the number of molecules of the drug in the bloodstream will be a maximum. Okay? So we have to equal to equate the second derivative to zero. 
So for 10.3, we have to say m second derivative equals to zero. So the second derivative now will be from here, we'll have two times minus three is minus six. So we got minus six t plus six equals to zero. So the second derivative, remember this is the first derivative. So the second derivative will be two times minus three is minus six plus six equals to zero. So as you can see here now, we're going to solve for t. Therefore, minus six t equals to minus six t equals to one. So therefore, it's going to be after one hour. So therefore, after one hour. All right. So we're going to be looking at another question. And in this question here, we're going to be looking at a question from the November 2012 paper one. And it reads as follows. A particle moves along a straight line. The distance s it meters, the distance s it meters. So you're given distance here of the particle from a fixed point on the line at time t seconds. t is greater than zero is given by the following formula. S of t equals 2t squared. S of t equals to 2t squared. So let's have a look at that. So remember S of t equals to 2t squared minus 18t plus 45. Calculate the particle's initial velocity. And here they tell us that velocity is the rate of change of distance. So therefore, what we have to do here for initial velocity, remember that t is equal to zero. Now, velocity is the rate of change of distance. So you're given here the distance. So that means you have to find the derivative of the function. So it's going to be s primed t. We're going to do that first and we're going to substitute t equals to zero. So that will be 4t minus 18. Therefore, s prime 0 equals to 4 times 0 minus 18, which is going to equal to minus 18 meters per second. So our answer is minus 18 meters per second. The next question says, determine the rate at which the velocity, the rate at which the velocity of the particle is changing at t seconds. So once again, in this particular question, rate at which the velocity of the particle is changing. So here it's a rate of velocity. So rate of velocity means now that we have to find the second derivative in this example. So second derivative now will be S double prime T, which is now going to equal to four. Remember the derivative of constant here is zero, so minus 18 becomes zero, and the derivative of 40 is four. The second derivative now will be four meters per second squared. So determine the rate at which the velocity of the particle is changing at t seconds will be four meters per second squared. After how many seconds will the particle be closest to the fixed point? After how many seconds will the particle be closest to the fixed point? So therefore, in this particular question, we have to say S primed T equals to zero. Closest to the fixed point is, remember, maxima, right? So maximum and minimum value. So you have to find your derivative of equated to zero. All right, so closest to the fixed point, we need to find the derivative at equated to zero. And we're gonna solve for time. So in this particular case, we already have the first derivative. So 10.3, the derivative of the function is 4t minus 18 equals to 0. And let's now solve for t. So 4t equals to 18. And let's now solve for t. So therefore, t equals to 18 over 4. 18 over 4, 4 goes into 18 4 times, and that will be the main 2 over 4, so 4 and a half. So that means it's going to be 4.5 seconds. So therefore, t equals to 4.5 
seconds. So let's go look at the question again. After how many seconds will the particle be closest to the fixed point? And because it's closest to the fixed point, we are going to find the derivative of the function and equate it to zero. Learners, these are questions on rates of change. So remember, rates of change means when is something changing? For example, we are looking at the rate of change of distance in this particular question is velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of distance. Learners, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to JR Maths and don't forget to check out all the videos on jrmaths.com. And I'll catch you in the next video.